This evening, I want to do a video on a swaging project that I'm doing. I've just got some of my equipment back today. A uh, buddy of mine over at Ammo Smith, his name is Jixer Bill. He got a lathe and a, a very nice shop. And he's been working with me on this project. And I'm, I'm going to show you something that he's done for me. This is just a standard rock chucker press. As you can see over here, I use a lead reloading press. I've got two of them that I use for all my reloading. This one I want to use for my swaging. The first thing he done was he has taken the stock handle. Which is laying right there. Okay, he's taken that and he took it off and he built me this real long handle. All right up here at the top. Get zoomed in. He took it. Of course, he put it on the lathe. He put these real nice lines in them. You know, really made it look nice. As we move on down, you can tell it comes and it steps up. Then it steps up again. Steps up again. It's real thick here on the bottom. And it holds on the bottom like the regular one does. Now, here is the original. As you can see, the original one, top of the handle only comes up to the swage die. This one goes up that much more. So, really good leverage. Second thing I wanted to show you. Um, at the bottom here, you can see there's a hollow point punch. He had taken this original from uh, CH4D die manufacturing. Manufacturing. He had taken this and he has made a custom set that's a lot sturdier and a lot better. And this one is the swage die with the hollow point. The one in here right now is the core seat die. If you can see right there. So now over here is a little chop saw picked up at Harbor Freight. He picked it up for me. We needed a way to uh, cut the brass down better. He built me this little addition out of aluminum. And what you do is you take your brass, you slide it in at the preset depth, and this little blade right here cuts off exactly the right size, leaving about that much of the brass for the lead. So let me get this camcorder uh, set up. As you can tell by my hand how big this little mini saw is. Let me get this camcorder set up and we'll go ahead and trim, or rather we'll be cutting, not trimming, uh, some brass and then we'll go on from there. Now, I know you can't see me, but um, I do have on eye protection. On the top of this, there's you can see a hole. I simply use this pencil eraser. Go down in the hole to hold the brass. So, go ahead and turn this on. I got my fingers away from the blade. simply using the eraser you can pull it out so this is what got cut off and this is the brass I'll be using now I'll be deburring inside and outside okay I want to show you something else I've been using the pencil lead to kick out the brass to the whole this bolt, he has drilled a hole all the way through the bolt, so I could take a piece of wire if I wanted to, run it through, and eject the brass out, which, let's go ahead and try that. I think it's going to be a little bit better than kicking it out with the uh, pencil. 
pencil eraser. this, insert the hole, there it is. That's going to work a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and work this batch up, and then I'll do a vid on annealing them. Let you see how I anneal them. Then after the annealing process, I'll throw them in the ultrasonic cleaner. And then after that, we'll be ready to run it through to the swage machine.